Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would uh, yield myself such time as I may consume. So we were discussing earlier about this being a, a you know, presidential bashing or, or whatever the case may be, but I have to ask the question, so why are we here? Why is Congress doing this? The reason is, Madam Speaker, because the president failed. The administration failed. And that's the reason this was brought to, uh, to Congress. So Congress could intervene and, and move this forward. And I might also point out that we're, we are debating right now, the package that we are debating is recommended by the president's PEB, by his board that he appointed. The president himself wants us to pass this package. And I'm going to quote the speaker who just, what, Sunday, said, and this is a quote, this week the House will take up a bill adopting the tentative agreement with no poison pills or changes, or changes to the negotiated terms and send it to the Senate. And now they're backing up, they're backing up on that process, and that's really what's wrong or what's happening today is they're backing up on that and trying to renegotiate. They're trying to renegotiate this whole process um, that a lot of people have put time and effort into and came to an agreement. And now, you know, there's no reason anymore. Why, why do we even have um, the system set up the way, it, uh, the way it is if Congress is going to come in and, and, uh, and make changes to all of the recommendations? With that, I, or I uh, reserve the balance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from...